So here we are making another tutorial and um, I decided to make another one for Massive as always. So before we start I'm just gonna show you a quick hint. If you have a MIDI controller and you run FL Studio first and then your MIDI controller it obviously doesn't work so you don't have to turn off FL Studio so in case you don't know you can just go to options MIDI settings and click rescan MIDI devices and and it works so it's pretty good thing to know I didn't know it for a long time so I thought it might be helpful to you as well so here is massive and as you know that's why you're probably looking for it now uh, well I decided to make a tutorial about LFOs Actually, I don't know what what exactly it's gonna be, but I'm I'm gonna show you the performer and also stepper and just LFO in general. I don't know if LFO and performer is a different thing. If you change it, uh, it's just this green button can be changed, and I'm gonna show you all three ways uh, what they how they work and stuff, you know. So let's start with a simple sound. Well, this is definitely not a sound. Okay, this sounds good, and it doesn't really matter because. Okay, it looks like it can be modulated a lot of different ways. So let's put an LFO, you just drag it to these two boxes, and the third one is actually for something else, but. I'm not gonna go through that, so you gotta Google it, and it doesn't matter in this tutorial anyway. So, as you can hear, it's already modulated. And let me just put sustain up, cause then it sounds like shit. Well, that's uh, the basics of LFO it will just modulate anything you put it on it goes like this knob is going like this and there all the time but it's controlled by the LFO and actually this is the speed of LFO you can automate that if you want and you can also synchronize it to a tempo which I use a lot because that's way better than just a random movement you know so now you just synchronize to the tempo and if you drag it on smaller mode it will just move here so it's not gonna be that big change but if you drag it through the whole whole knob it will do much more movement it's actually kind of a funny sound and I didn't expect that it will sound like that but it could be used creatively uh, that's actually I'm probably gonna make a song with that sound <laughs> well that's, that's pretty awesome actually I'm definitely gonna go and try to do something about it but in this tutorial I'm showing you the LFO and not some funny sound so let's just skip that and we can also modulate some phase or maybe not because this will be enough I, I mean It'll just work fine. So this is the LFO and this is the synchronize button and what else? This is the restart button. That's actually if you had it on, if you enable it, every time you hit a key the LFO will start over so it goes like this and if you hit a key in the if you are in the middle and you hit a key it's go once over from the start so and if it's not on the restart it will just go and never restart I guess you understand what I'm saying but 
you also got these different different curves you can quite hear the difference I mean this just goes like up and down you know so You can also choose uh, more curves from some presets there are. And you can also move the curve. But um, for this tutorial I'm just gonna... Actually it's not a tutorial for the sound. It doesn't matter which curve I'm gonna use. And you can also switch between two. So I have this one here and this one here and this fader controls it so And you can actually control this fader with another LFO if not the same yeah you can actually control it with the same LFO which is kind of weird but you can control it with another LFO or envelopes, but that's not a tutorial about envelopes, so maybe next time. So this is actually the LFO itself, and it works pretty easy. I mean, you just drag it on something you want to modulate and synchronize it to a tempo if you want, and you probably won't. And you can speed it up or slow it down, and also you can make some differences in, in the synchronization synchronization you just gotta play around with it and there is not much to play around most of the most important thing is what you apply the LFO to so if you I apply it to something else it wouldn't sound so interesting so maybe the the amplifier, you know, it was just be something different. So this is the LFO, and that's actually all about LFO. And well, then you can change it to a performer, which is a whole different thing. So the performer goes with these curves, and you can uh, change them, so you can make your own sequence of different curves you just click load curve and here it is and you just may do some changes and also you can change the the speed as before and this is probably not a really interesting curve I made but you can do some crazy stuff let's just make the tempo like I mean, this is not the best example of a sound using this performer because it's really shitty sound. I'm just gonna show you some some of my projects when I use performer, and there it sounds really good. So maybe that's gonna make you more interested. So again, there is uh, the X fade sequence, and you can also put it down, and it will play this one. And I think when you hit these buttons down there, it will actually not play that one, but it will play this one where this is not gray but it's not enabled then it's playing the upper one and if it's enabled it's playing the the, the one that's down so but if the fader is up it play. I kind of forgot what it's all about I mean it's for sure that if you play if you click this, it will play this one instead of this one. 
But I think there was some something else in there, and I I really can can uh, remember. So I'm really sorry, but <laughs> I'm giving you a tutorial, and I myself don't know what it's exactly for. But uh, I'm sure you will figure it out by playing with it, or you won't. But this tutorial is still just free tutorial, so don't complain, you know. And you can also make it uh, smaller or or longer, whatever you want. And uh, what was this for? I know what this is for. This actually removes the performer. So if if it's all all the way down, it's not. Working. It's like without LFO or performer, and if it's up, it's with it. It's modulating like always. So that's how the performer works, and you can again not synchronize if you wish so. And there is the restart button. Again. So I'm I'm gonna show you actually. When I hold one key, it will just go, and when I press another, it will go from one. But if the restart is off, when I hold one key and I press another, it will just continue in the sequence. And it should start it. Uh, where it well, I'm gonna show now. As you can see, it still continues, and even though I press another key. So that's the difference between enabled and disabled. And um, I don't know, there's not much. Again, uh, there are some things I really forgot what they are for, but I explain most of the important stuff. And if you want to go deeper, you just have to figure it out or find another tutorial. I mean, now the stepper. Let me just it's actually showing you how much you want. So if it's down, it's actually like this was down. Actually, let me put it all the way down now. So if this is totally down it's like this is as well and if it's up it's like it's on full volume this knob is like on full volume but it's actually not moving but here it is actually you wouldn't hear any difference if I do this this is when it, this is down it's like this and when it, this is up it's like this And you don't have to do it manually, you just make a sequence. So that's what's that for. And again, there's the restart and everything else you see always. And actually you can snap to grid and then it will be kind of synchronized. I'm not sure if synchronized is the right word, but it will not, it will just go for the uh, what is it called the numbers I mean you can see yourself it's one two three four and if it's not then it can be four point thirty one and stuff like that so it's if snap to grid it's only go for these numbers I'm not sure what they call them um, sorry for that again but that's pretty much what LFO can do and that's what I know about it and there are sure some more things, but I think this helped a lot by itself. And I'm gonna show you some sound I made. I actually don't remember. Let me just slow the project. Uh, I think it was this one. And this project is some things I tried out with the sound with a sequencer. <laughs> 
and it should be kind of massive sound for drum bass and here is the sequencer as you can see <laughs> I actually used just one oscillator. I I tried with more, but then I then I did some experiments and I only used the one. And here is actually how it sounds. The full song. I mean, it's not a full song. It's just a demo. And I actually used a sample of a kind of a reggae style vibes. <laughs> See that's just a small experiment I was doing with the with some snare. I I made a really cool snare and I wanted to make a song with it. It's kind of a nice snare. And as you can see here is um, automation and it automates the wait a second. It automates the X fade. So for a second there, it's actually down. So it's playing this one here, and that's pretty pretty nice effect it made. So I really like this actually and I should probably uh, finish this up but I don't know how. And I got some drum bass. I don't know if you like it but I think it's pretty good and um, thanks for watching and as you can see, this is how you can use it for really interesting sounds, and I hope you will. Bye.